doing today is learning how to make banana oat pancakes. Oh no. Hey guys, it's Kate, and today I'm going to be doing tasty recipes for 24 hours. So for breakfast, we're going to be doing banana oat pancakes. If you don't know how this works, we're going to be following recipes from Tasty the whole entire day to see if they work, if they taste good, if they're fake, if they're hard to make. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the recipe in case you want to try it out. It's two bananas, two eggs, one tablespoon of vanilla, one half oats, one tablespoon cinnamon, and blueberries, which I actually don't have blueberries, so we're doing everything but that. So first we're just going to crack my eggs. the bananas first so I'm going to mash the bananas right over here I'm just gonna mash them with my hand instead of fork but I don't feel like that'll work well don't worry I wash my hands before this Too difficult yet. I'm not sure if it'll cook. That's the only thing that I don't know about because it is not have like flour or anything that you put in. And I'm going to stick to the recipe exact so we can't cheat. That's what it looks like so far. Just bananas and mashed bananas and eggs. Okay, so now you're going to need one tablespoon of, no, tea, whatever this says, of ground cinnamon. I'm not the best at reading the measurements. But we don't have a tablespoon left. That's all we have left. So we'll just sprinkle as much as we and now I'm going to put ground cinnamon on the grocery list. But now you need quick oats 
um, one half cup of Quaker oats. I'm not the biggest fan of oats, but I'm going to keep it to the recipe. This is that's one half, yeah. And try it anyway. And I would do blueberry, but I actually don't have any. So that's about one half cup. And now it's supposedly done. Supposedly all you have to do now is heat up your skillet to high. So I have to heat it to high and wait for it to warm up. And they said to spray it. When you're almost ready, you put the pancake on. Okay, so. Now I'm just going to whisk this over here. Which I will show you. I'm actually going to turn it off. I need to get it on. And they said if it's a little too clumpy that you can go and add a splash of milk. But that's how it should look. And if you don't like banana, you could always just do, it's like, not do the banana and do like, um, do um, like blueberries instead of banana, or you could do raisins instead of banana. You could actually substitute it for anything. Now I'm just gonna try to mash the bananas a little bit better here. But it looks like so yummy. It's and I actually can't share the video because I could get copyrighted if I do. But the video is basically in the video. It's very easy. There's no mess. They do it very quickly. They just mash the bananas and put the eggs in. Then they said to heat up your pan and they just cooked it. And then it was over. Um, they did get a cup. So we'll get the cup, and then we'll get a plate. We'll get a plate to put on, and then a plate for me, and everyone else in the family, if they want to try one. So now I'm going to heat it to about six, I'd say, is how hot it should be. the pancake crepe video um but yeah they're cooking so if you like cooking you should go check them out and for lunch i'm going to be doing a tasty late night snack except late night lunch which you gotta stay tuned because i don't know if it'll work but it might who knows also, guys, should I keep my channel name at Kate El Kate's Life, or should I change it to Kate Elizabeth? If you guys don't know, Kate Elizabeth is actually, Elizabeth is my middle name. So I'm thinking about changing it to Kate Elizabeth, but I want to know what you guys think. 
Oh, that is not ready to flip. All right, let's go ahead and turn our heat up too high. I don't know if this will cook, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset because I just wasted two perfectly good bananas. And I let, and I kind of like bananas. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mostly I do. But I don't even know if it'll taste like banana or anything. I really want to put more vanilla on the batch just because I'm like in love with vanilla all the time. Right, I think it might be ready. Okay, it is almost ready. Once it like starts like bubbling around the sides, you can tell it's almost ready. But I'm nervous because I want it to taste good. And if it was me, I would in, I would put in chocolate chips in it. Chocolate chips. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it. Oh, and it looks good. It, it's a little, it came apart a little bit. But I will see when I'm done cooking the rest. And I will see you when I'm done cooking the rest of the pancakes. But this is what the first looks like and i will see you when i'm done cooking the rest bye okay quick update the pancakes were supposed to actually make six but i burnt two of them um they cook really fastly on the end but since they're so thick they don't cook up top so they end up burning if you want them cooked so i will see you when they're actually all done okay guys so this is the finished product um they're like little nuggets. They're very hard to cook. So what I'm going to say is they're very hard to cook because they're super thick. So they cook on the bottom and burn, but they don't cook on the top. Um, they're kind of hard to make. I probably wouldn't make it again, but let's taste them. Mm. They taste good. They're just hard to make. But I'd give it an 8 out of 10. So good job, Tasty. Hey guys, so you know I changed my channel name to Kate Elizabeth. Um, so yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so we are back for lunch. And for lunch we're going to be making tasties. I mean, not tasties. Is it so yummy or tasty? No, so yummy. Or was it tasty? Hey guys, it's Kate, and today I'm going to be making tasties. Oh. Alright guys, so we are back for lunch, and we're going to be making tasty mac and cheese. Supposedly, it's a late night mac and cheese that you can put in the Fork, but 
I'm too lazy to get a fork, so I'm using a hand. And it said to add a pinch of salt. Not pepper, just salt. It said pepper here. Okay, so I'm going to add salt. And it said to microwave it for three whole minutes. Okay, so it's out of the microwave, and be careful because it is so, so, so hot. Definitely get an adult to help you when you take it out of the microwave. I had to get my dad to help me because I touched it. I was like, my hand is going to burn off if I even touch it. But now you just got to get a good mix. And the noodles, they get kind of like soft, but not like noodly, like if you cook them. But they're still like, they'll go back in, so don't worry. So it should look like that. And then it said to add a splash of milk. I am actually lactose intolerant, so I'm going to be using almond milk. Um, just make sure it's unsweet or it's going to taste very bad. Just to get a little bit more creamy and keep that out because you will need it again and then it said to add some pepper and garlic salt it didn't actually say add garlic salt but i always add garlic salt i don't think it'll make much difference and then they said to add about about one fourth cup of any cheese of your choice going to measure I'm just going to put in as much as I want I love cheese a lot <laughs> and then let's just do a little provolone just to get a little bit of flavor like half a slice so I will see you when it is done. Okay, so 30 seconds has been up and I'm going to try to get this out without burning myself. Like I said, make sure you guys use an adult supervision because that is what it looks like. 
Now we're just going to give it a good mix. Ooh, it looks really good. I probably could use a little bit more cheese. Maybe a little bit more milk. But that is the finished product. And then I'm actually going to cut up a little bit of chicken with this. A little bit of chicken finger. Just, I think I'll be good with just half a chicken tender just to get some protein. And I actually like my chicken tenders cold. I like them cold and with Chick-fil-A sauce. That's about one chicken tender right there. And then I'm just going to put a little drink with it. Tasty lunch, so thank you, Tasty, and I will try it out. So yummy, I keep saying tasty, but thank you, so yummy, and I will try it out later. And I'll see you when I try it. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying it out, and it's hot, it's really hot. Mmm, it is good. You guys should really try it out, it's actually really good. So, good job, so yummy. Okay, so one thing I get curious about is in So Yummy, they make everything look so easy. Like, super easy. So we're about to see if it really is, is that easy. So what they did was they got like a piping ice chip, but since we're using some small banana that are like the big chunk of apple, I'm just going to get like a straw. But they just like suck it in and they cut out the holes But theirs looks a lot better than mine. This was supposedly an after school snack. And if you're not a fan of bananas, because I know there's probably some of you watching this, go, ugh, why is all this stuff banana? You can always substitute the banana for like blueberries, like in the banana pancakes, you can do it with blueberries instead. Or tea. And then this is the fish part to me. They put peanut butter on it, but the thing was with the apple, they put peanut butter on it and it spread. Now I tried this with an apple before and when I put the peanut butter on the apple, it didn't stay on the apple. So we'll see if it stays on the banana. Okay, so it stays on a banana, kind of. So they just frosted half of them with peanut butter. And they did granola too, but we don't have that either. So banana and peanut butter and honey is what they put on some. And they also put some on, on um, some with like dark chocolate chips. But we don't have the same chocolate that they did. Do not think. But I'm just spreading them. You know how many times I've poked myself with this knife spreading it? So be careful. Adult supervision is needed because I poked myself already and I'm surprised I haven't got cut. So I will see you when I, my hands are washed. Okay, so now we're just going to put a little bit of honey on some of them, which would be a lot better. Just a little bit. Cause honey on banana I think would be really weird. But I'm going to go ahead and taste it and I will see you guys later. Alright guys, 
it's time to taste it. I'm very nervous. And again, they did it with apples, so we'll give them a little extra credit. It's good with the peanut butter. And then the honey just like makes it like taste weird. Um, but I am gonna eat it and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So that was officially eating so yummy recipes for 24 hours and I'll be doing tasty soon. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications button. We've got a lot of fun videos to come like only eating green foods and the ABC gymnastics challenge. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe to be part of the gem squad and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.